So I grew up in a conservative Midwestern Asian American family. And when I came out in my mid twenties, it was not okay in my community to be gay. I was living with my parents at the time and I had to move out. And I was also part of a very strong faith community and they did not accept me for being gay. And so as a result of that, I lost a lot of friends too. So I knew I was gay from a really young age and growing up in Catholic school, I had never met a gay person. No one in my family or I had no friends who were gay. Most of my childhood I felt really awkward, putting on a Catholic school uniform, wearing dresses. I just tried to fit in. I, I had a boyfriend. I, I tried to just get through it. But I never allowed myself to really dream about the future in a positive way because I just thought that the future was going to be very lonely. Um, when I was in college, uh, a very close friend of mine told me that her sister was gay and that she just had an idea of when people were gay. And that scared me <laughs> because I knew that she knew that I had this big secret. And when I told her, I had never felt so scared in my life because I just didn't know what was going to happen. And I didn't know what, who I was going to be knowing that this secret was out. I had to move to a new city and I needed to find a new community. So I went out looking for churches that were open and accepting. And I met an amazing pastor there who told me that it was okay to be me, that it wasn't sinful to be me. And that really changed my life and it gave me the confidence to go out and try to find more community. But when I started to ask for help and I started to try to find community, I was blown away. My life got so much better. I became an HIV social worker, I volunteered in the gay community, I met people like me. And the funny thing is, people liked me so much more than the fake self that I was when I wasn't allowing myself to be my full self. People thought I was interesting, people thought I was unique, people loved my ideas. Um, and so it just really like improved my life 100%. When I met Jenny, I really allowed myself to dream and think, my God, I could have a family, we can have a normal life, we can be accepted. I saw my family love her, and I realized that the future was very bright. I just, I couldn't even tell you what it's like to meet somebody who just makes you so happy. And together, we decided to go on this trip around the world because we really wanted to find other people with stories just like ours. Jenny and I traveled for a year and we traveled to 15 countries. And it was really then when I realized we have this whole global family, you know, walking into Asia and seeing women wearing ties and going to Africa and seeing people with faux hawks like mine and going to South America and, you know, walking into an LGBT center and feeling at home. The world is a very big place and we have this great chosen family that you are a part of. So, trust me, it gets better. You're a unique person and a very lovable person, and I can't wait to see who you become.